hi guys welcome back to the channel and don't forget to subscribe like and share this video uh i'm bringing uh i always appreciate everybody that has always been watching this video please please help us to just hit that 50 please just like subscribe and click on the notification when the video drop it's every of those good things good things it actually honestly used to help the channel so please as much as you that are watching this video please even if it's 10 minutes i want to appreciate you even if it's five minutes you're watching just leave a like and subscribe and also leave a comment thank you god bless now let's go into more of the news i actually want to talk about this one it's actually arsenal related and that is the case of uh martin odegaard and i see a lot of meltdown like in the whole uh arsenal fan base and uh, you know score that you know arsenal now we have a lot of players injured at the moment we have a lot of players like who are kind of under that injury whatever at, at this point in time and then i've seen a lot of meltdown online talking about we won't win the game or we will win now this is my opinion first of all let's look at martin the martin martin Odegaan injury and yeah i think the injury is still to be an ankle injury now as you can see we said the arsenal captain that is probably facing a month on the sideline with the ankle with an ankle injury that, that, that he picked up while representing norway on monday night the attacker had to be replaced in the 67th minute of what's proved to be a 2-1 success to norway again against australia against australia and uh, his nation side dr ola sand has since said that 25 year old he, uh, uh, sprained his ankle he got a small ankle sprain we will see maybe we use we maybe we use ultrasound to look at if we were uh, if, uh, if we were unsure there will be an mir tomorrow ankle sprains are difficult to deal with straight away so we almost have to see how things go forward and um now generally let's look at what it's going to look like for what Arsenal is going to be. And considering the next fixture that Arsenal have, if we're looking at that right now, uh, like, let's look at what we, we I think Arsenal has um, Tottenham and um, of immediate, I think they had uh, Tottenham and then Man City. But let's just put that aside, speaking of what the games that we have but what is important to me is the fact that this guy is injured but we need to actually look at the fact that this team can actually play without Matt Nudegaard like yes I'm not saying that we should be happy that example I don't know what is actually the cause of the meltdown why fans are over the moon over if he's injured injury is part of football so I believe that um, that if he's injured he will actually rest and the other players will take uh we we'll take up from there now the question is yes it's, it's, it's been proven on saturday we actually have to, uh, on is it sunday yes sunday if that we have that now but this guy is not playing at the moment yes we know he's not playing at the moment but i don't see the reason why they should be met down on the thing. yes it's a very integral part of what we do is the he, he always leads the press from the front and but i what i just can't seem to you know wrap my head around is the fact that everybody is honestly having a meltdown for this game for me i feel whether without the, i think all we need to do is play a midfield three of party um probably Giorgio. i think it's possible one area let him play i don't know why it's time for one area to rise and play that's why we have him that is the reason if a total loan fabio Vieira and he sold the miss mitchell and he left one area it means he can play he's just going to hold on till this guy is back it's not as if martin Odegaard is there they are all announcing and arsenal found that all tweet out there as if martin Odegaard was announced there. no he only got an injury which is part of football he will get back and play we have a squad which is good enough to actually play and i believe that we should be able to uh survive without him for a couple of you know these matches that we are expecting you know uh we are expecting him to be out for so i don't know why they make that make down but that's why actually why i'm that's why actually i'm doing this video i feel for me we are going to win the game and i i, I respect to with respect to tottenham they are doing fine but i don't think that will be enough for us to say this this guy not being in the game will make us lose the game all we need to do is play 
party party speed. I think he plays like it and new speed. Jorginho will get up to speed and then we'll move uh, this guy up front also. I think we'll move um, 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 one area there. There's one area, and if you decide whatever you decide to do, I believe that's one of the reasons why we have these extra players for the season. So for me, I don't think they should be, you know, if you check all the aggregator, like, every all the news carriers, you know, the Odegaard is injured, uh, Odegaard uh, injury, blow, blah, 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 injury, blow. Look, Manchester City had their brain out, they had uh, Rodri out, they have folding out. Those guys have always been out and Manchester has been winning games. So I don't see the reason why we can, we are not playing, we cannot play, we won't be, we will be playing this game without uh, Odegaard and then we'll be clamoring that we are in trouble. We are not in trouble. We can actually play the game without Martin Odegaard. So for me, there is no point. There is no uh, reason why we should all hold on to the fact that, oh, this guy is injured. And I don't know. Whatever your comments, please ask that fan in the comment section. Let me know. What do you think? You know, do you think we are going to lose the game maybe without Martin Odegaard? For example, I want us to just take a look at our squad. We have some players that can actually come in in that you know midfield to represent him. Yes, they might not be as perfect, but the question I want to ask us: Do you, what would we have done? Who could you have replaced Odegaard that would have been as good as Odegaard and remain on the bench while Odegaard played? So I don't see the reason why we should always be over it. I think whoever whoever it is, we decide to kind of go with at that point in time. I believe we should be able to you know. I believe we should be able to win the game with or without Odegaard. I don't know of Manchester City, but right now I'm telling you for talking about uh, what's his name. They're talking about um, Tottenham. I, they play a high line, and I'm not underestimating them. But I believe we can win the game. In fact, I have never been so sure. We have Saka. Saka is fit. I don't think he's. I don't think he's. Um, he's injured. He came back fit. I don't see any reason why we should not be able to win the game with him. But what do you think? What is your opinion? I want you to put it in the comment section. But I, what, what is just, uh, what I'm just not happy about is the way people are kind of flipping this ahead that we can't play without the guard. Call me anyway. We can play the ball without the guard. He's missing. Yes, somebody else will step in and will play the game. At the back, we have Calafiri injured. Yes, but we we have cover enough at the back. So I feel we have covered uh, the back enough to win the game. So I don't know the reason. For me, that is my opinion. Uh, Arsenal fans in the, in the building, if you're Arsenal fan and watching, watching this, do you think we will? We can play the game without Olegan. I feel we will play, and I, and I have no fear that I have no fear at all that we can do well against Olegan. So uh, without Olegan, so he's a very good part of the player. Don't forget, though, I'm, I'm not telling you that. We should have him out for long or for the whole of the season. No, he's out for three weeks. We deal with it, we suck it up, and we move on. That is what I feel for him. Yes, I feel for him because he's kind of the, he's a leader, he's a captain, and he should be playing. Yes, but at the moment, if he is not playing, then there's no big deal. I don't see any reason why we should feel out of this world that uh, he, 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 that is the end of everything. It is not the end for Odegaard. Odegaard is injured. Yes. But he will play. Look at it. Look at all the aggregator. Everybody is showing, you know, um, brutal blow for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard lim limps off in tears for Norway. Martin Odegaard, Arsenal captain in for North London Derby. Arsenal gives a uh, new Martin Odegaard injury timeline as uh, update has emerged. Uh, Martin Odegaard injury time scale review. Look, all these times, whatever. If he's injured, he's injured. Let him sit down and write it out and let any player that can come in come in yes i know we are going for the league and we have to have our players intact but the point is that that's what we have this is what we support and this is what we will go with it in i'm still confident that we can get the all three points against tottenham i don't know atlanta we will play the game as they come next game is tottenham i see us winning what do you think put that can let us do that in the comment section that's all, all on this video. Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe. What's your opinion concerning what they call? Do you think Arsenal can actually win that game without Martin Odegaard? Do you think we, uh, we, we, we need Odegaard to win that game? Leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you on the next one.